all right guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to further beyond gaming and welcome back to another my hero the strongest hero and in today's video we're going to be doing another tier list now this is for season two pvp ranked tier list so if you haven't seen my first one i did a season one ranked pvp tier list you can go ahead and check it out but what you're seeing right now is how i rank the characters in season one for the very first season of ranked pvp so i went ahead and replaced them back up here because for season two i wanted to see where i had them and i am going to be making some adjustments for this tier list right here so we'll be making some adjustments and now we have uh sun daddy himself endeavor to go ahead and rank so i do hope you enjoyed today's video if you do drop a like subscribe if you're new we are on our way to 30k help us reach that major milestone and it means a lot to me helps out the channel tremendously so thank you guys so much for all the support on the my hero content also wanted to go ahead and quickly mention that this tier list of course is just my subjective opinion you're gonna have a different one from myself so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and if there's a character that you feel should have been rated higher or lower let me know in the comments down below as well and keep in mind once again this is for ranked pvp on the global side for season two so let's go ahead and take a look at who we have right now so like i mentioned this is the characters that i ranked in season one and there are some adjustments that need to be made so i'm going to make some adjustments before ranking endeavor himself so first and foremost um when i take a look at this there are a lot of characters that are in the b tier and in my opinion when it comes to bakugo i had the chance to mess around with bakugo a little bit more when i first made the season one tier list i did not have bakugo on my account i have him now i got a chance to play with them and i think he does have the potential to be an a tier depending on your skill level and depending on how well you can use Bakugo. He has ton of potential and he has the ability to get off some crazy combos and he does some amazing damage. But the thing about Bakugo is that you need to use him uh, correctly in the right situations because his basic attacks don't have a lot of range to them. It's very easy to get caught by another character or another skillful player. So with Bakugo, you need to make sure that you're utilizing his quirk which allows him to basically you know blitz around the field and that will allow you to get out of certain situations and reposition yourself to be able to then land your basic attacks or be able to catch the opponent off guard and use one of your skills which have a lot of super armor or hyper armor on them and you want to utilize those um, for example one of his skills is like a dp which basically you're invulnerable you can use that to your advantage but if you're not a skilled bakugo player you may not be using those skills to your advantage and you get caught so it just depends on how skillful you are with bakugo but he has the potential to be extremely good and i had him in b tier because i just never utilize him and i never seen anybody else use him in ranked pvp but now that i have him on my account i used him a little bit i'll definitely move him up to a tier i, I think he is deserving of that um another character that i did want to go ahead and move up to a tier is ojiro i got the chance to use ojiro a little bit you might i'm that video might have dropped already did it drop i think that video dropped by the way i'm out of town when i'm doing this um making well this is pre-recorded i'm out of town currently and i have videos being uploaded anyways um i believe i came out with my ojiro uh, PvP video and I I think Ojiro is fantastic I, I I think he is an A tier character and um, I, I think he can be really good the only thing that holds Ojiro back is that he doesn't have a, any range options for the most part he has a skill where he can use his tail much like Tokoyami can use um, I believe it's his W if I'm not mistaken to be able to grab the enemies and then be able to uh, close the distance Ojiro has something very similar, just less range to it, um, but it's very effective. The thing I like about Ojiro is that his skills are on a very short cooldown. Like I mentioned in the video, you can basically spam his skills, which is really, really nice because you can keep the combo going and he's just a combo machine. Also, a lot of his skills have hyper armor, so you're able to pop those skills off and not be interrupted. So that's really nice as well. So Ojiro, he has a lot of potential. Once again, you just need to know his skills um, know what stance you're in to be able to utilize him effectively but if you do he can be a really really good character for you so i really like ojiro um i, I move him up to the a tier because i i think he's a i think he's a good character um 
you won't see him in you know really in higher rank pvp or anything like that much like these other characters like ida i'll keep in a tier i think ida's fantastic i think bakugo is fantastic but once you start getting higher up in the ranks you don't really see these characters ida a little bit but not too much um so that's why i'll i'll, I'll keep them in the a tier and then the other character that i'm still kind of on the fence about is mineta i mineta has a lot of potential and mineta can be good in certain situations he uh, he's a he's a sneaky one this guy he he's a sneaky one you know i'll is he in a yeah i'll, I'll put i'll put mineta in the a tier because i think mineta is slightly better than uh froppy sue um and i feel comfortable with sue being in the b tier and i feel comfortable with kaminari being in the d tier 100 percent kaminari in the d tier uh <laughs> that like that's not gonna change um Mineta in the A tier yeah because I think I think he is slightly better than Froppy I, I think he has a lot of good skills um I've been watched by a Mineta player 100% Mineta the god and um I think he's deserving to be in the A tier 100% yeah yeah I'm comfortable with that um now the next character that there's gonna be there's gonna be a switch around and I know I'm gonna get some uh controversy on this one I'm gonna get some controversy on this one yeah, 100%. I'm going to get some controversy on this one. Uh, Kirishima, I'm going to move up to the double S tier. And All Might, I'm going to move down to the S tier. All right, so hear me out on this one. Hear me out on this one. So the reason why I went ahead and made this shift is because Kirishima, as you start to get up in higher rank PvP, he becomes even more prevalent. And the reason being is because, and you guys are probably already aware of this, Kirishima, um, when you have a really skillful Kirishima player, what they are able to do is insane. So first and foremost, Kirishima's combos go for days. Secondly, um, he is able to do tons of damage, massive amount of damage with his combos. Um, he has a counter that people are able to take advantage of. A very skillful Kirishima player will take advantage of his counter each and every time. And it comes back a lot quicker than a lot of people think. Has a, has a very quick cooldown. He has the charge that very skillful Kirishima players are able to take advantage of. When you're trying to combo a Kirishima and he pops that charge and he gets you, it's almost a guaranteed wrap. Um, he has his uh, lunging ability, which allows him to close the distance. Has a bit of AoE on it, especially if he charges it up can be a sneaky sneaky good option um kirishima just has a lot in his kit a lot of things that make him a very strong pvp character his basic attacks are very quick uh he gains priority a lot of times on his basic attacks kirishima just basically has it all man in in a pvp character that you would want um and what very skillful kirishima players will do is they will go ahead and combo you to death um, they will uh, try their basic attacks. If they miss with their basic attacks, they'll do their lunge to try and close the distance and get you. If they don't get you with the lunge, they'll go right into a counter because you think that you can then attack because you think you have priority. They'll counter and then you're done for. Um, his ult comes back very quickly or he gets his ult very quickly. Within like his first or second combo, he has his ult. So if you get comboed, that's pretty much a wrap for that character. So Kirishima is just a beast all around a beast and I think he deserves to be in the double s here now all might being in the s tier Why did I bring all Might down? Don't get me wrong. All might is an absolutely fantastic character He's actually right now currently my anchor on my current team. He is a beast. I don't want anybody to um, To misconstrue that I think all might's not good all Might is very, very strong, especially if you're going up against a player that's not that skillful. Um, you could really, uh, uh, you know, overwhelm that other player, and you can definitely oppress that other player with All Might. Just spam basic attacks, spam tornadoes, spam your lunges, um, and, and they don't they don't know what to do, right? They don't know what to do. But we're talking about higher rank PvP, and as you start to get into the higher ranks of PvP, you start to find out that All Might has tons of counters. Um, he has a lot of holes in his kit and he's easily taken advantage of by a skillful player So what do I mean by that? Well first and foremost with his basic attacks There are some frames in between which actually sucks a lot and people take advantage of those frames in between So while he's going from his first to his second basic attack You can actually poke him and interrupt him because he doesn't have armor in between those and you can stop him in his tracks instantly um 
So characters that do that really well, Momo, um, Tokoyami can take advantage of that, Kirishima, these characters up here in the top, Aizawa just butchers All Might, um, Deku butchers All Might, Uraraka is able to basic attack him, uh, we're gonna get to Endeavor here in just a second, is able to as well, just any character that has a quick basic attack, Todoroki can stop him, Ida can stop him, any character that has a quick basic attack, Mineta is a good counter to All Might in certain situations. They can stop him in his tracks, and, and, it, and it sucks. And, and I know a lot of people who have played All Might um, know this, that you think you're being aggressive, and you think you're being oppressive and overwhelming, but then all of a sudden you, you're stopped in your tracks, and you're like, what the heck just happened? And then you go back to try and basic attack, and then you get hit again, and you're like, what is going on? It's because in between his first and second basic attack, there's a frame in between there that you can poke him and stop him immediately. And the thing about All Might is that... If you're able to get to his tornado or able to get to his third hit um, where he grounds and pounds, it's nice because he has super armor. You can't interrupt him. There's nothing you could really do, but you have to get there first. And if you're going up against a skillful player, they're not going to allow you to do that. Um, not to mention his lunging abilities um, are easily uh, evaded. You can evade them very easily. You can dodge them. It's not hard to get out of the way. And while he's in certain animations, you can interrupt him while he's doing the lunges. So... All Might, he's he's a really, really strong character, and he does tons of damage. You know, his his ult, I love his ult because it hits so fast, you can catch people off guard easily. I've done it many a times, and it's hilarious uh, with his United States of Smash. Also, with his Detroit Smash at level 7 does, I mean, three quarters of a character's health, um, and it's very quick. Once again, you can catch people off guard with it, but you have to build up to those things. And uh, it, it's just it's just All Might gets countered by too many characters. Um, but he's definitely still very strong. He's he's very strong. Just in higher rank PvP, he, he just gets countered pretty easily. But um, he's still still a god. He's still absolutely fantastic. But I think I think these characters up here are just just slight just slightly better. Just slightly better. Um, Momo absolutely fantastic i mean there's not much i need to say about momo tokoyami is absolutely fantastic aizawa is the most frustrating character to play against in pvp he's such a nuisance i cannot stand him uh and then kirishima is just is absolutely fantastic so i feel comfortable with this right here i feel comfortable with what i have right here um i, I think all these characters are great yeah i was thinking about moving todoroki down to eight tier but I'll, I'll leave him in the S tier. I, I think he has just too much potential. I think he has too much potential. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah. Uh, I might put Todoroki down here. I might put Todoroki down there. The reason being is because, one, you don't see too many Todorokis in higher rank PvP. And then secondly... Um, he's good, and his skills are good, but he, he's, he's just missing something, there's something that he's missing, there's the, something that he's missing to make him S tier, and I feel like him and Bakugo are, are kind of on the same realms, like, like, these characters here are kind of all on the same realm to me, so yeah, I, I feel Todoroki's good there, I feel Todoroki's good there. Now, okay, let's go ahead and talk about Endeavor at this time, Endeavor. I got the chance to play with him in unranked and ranked. I got to play with him for about a, a week and a half now as of this recording when this video goes live. Um, so I had plenty of time to to get acclimated to, to Endeavor and, and get an accurate um, hone in on, on where he should be on the tier list. So Endeavor, I feel very, very comfortable putting him in the S tier. He's not double S by any means. Um, but I feel super comfortable putting him here in the S tier. And the reason being is because he has so much to his kit that makes him a really good PvP character. And then with the new buffs that he uh, obtained, his shield is better and he does even more damage. And his lance lands closer to him so you can pick it up. It's just incredible. Like that changed his whole kit and his whole dynamic and the way you play Endeavor um, entirely. And his W after the charge also has super armor which is incredible as well so they buffed endeavor which comfortably places them in the s rank tier so endeavor 
tons of his moves, if not almost every one of his moves, has super armor. So it's very hard to interrupt Endeavor when he's attacking. His basic attacks are very quick, so you can poke and get priority very easily. Um, his charge attack is invulnerable and pulls the enemies in, so you can you can be very sneaky with it and cheeky with it. Um, and then his release also has super armor now, which is incredible. Uh, his Shoryuken, his uppercut, is the one thing that is, uh, is, is very fun to combo with it, but I wish the startup had super armor. Maybe that'd be too OP. Um, but the startup doesn't. Uh, it's only when he's in the air does he have super armor. So he can easily get interrupted there. Um, when he goes into his lance, well, throwing the lance, lance close to him. And when he picks it up, he has super armor, which is very nice. It can catch people off guard. Um, and then you can start a combo. His uh, basic attacks with his lance are very nice for poking. And a lot of times you can get priority with that as well and does tons of damage. Um, his ability where he lunges in with the lance is very nice for closing the distance and um, being able to uh, start a combo with that and does tons of damage and then his fire pillar um, is it's nice you just have to use it in the right situation much like his shoyuken the uppercut um, it doesn't have super armor i think initially on the startup so you can get interrupted af af out of that so you definitely want to use that fire pillar during a combo i think is the best time to do it and it has some uh, pulling in effects to it and then when you throw the lance to get out of lance mode, um, I love the AOE on it, and it uh, it goes to, like pretty much across the map, which is really nice um, to be able to uh, use some range abilities with Endeavor. Uh, and then his shield, I think his shield is OP. His shield um, at times can nullify people. That's where Endeavor becomes very uh, frustrating to play because there's point in time where he has his shield up and. Uh, you can't attack him or you're doing no damage. You're going through a full-on combo and you're doing absolutely zero damage. It can be frustrating. And then when it's over, he gets, you know, like 60 to 70% of his health back. And it's like, what was the point? You have to make sure you catch him in another combo really quickly to be able to then do the damage again. So it, Endeavor can be frustrating to play. Um, but if you're not good with Endeavor, you can get washed because I feel like he's kind of squishy. So... The fact that he can regen health, the fact that he has a shield and can pretty much nullify damage at some points in time makes Endeavor a, a very strong character. He counters a lot of uh, people. He counters Uraraka pretty good, counters Deku pretty good, counters All Might pretty good. Um, he has a decent matchup against Aizawa, even though I think Aizawa still wins. Uh, he matches up pretty decently with Kirishima as well as Tokoyami. Um, Momo, he, he matches up pretty decent with Momo. That's a pretty even matchup as well. Once again, just based off of the player's skill level and skill cap. But I feel comfortable with placing Endeavor in the S rank. So, that is my Season 2 PvP ranked tier list. Once again, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And I know you guys have differencing opinions. Um, especially on a lot of these characters. I know I made some controversial moves here. But I'd love to see what you guys have to say down in the comments below. And, uh... Yeah, this is, I feel comfortable with this one. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like what you saw. And um, make sure if you haven't subbed already, go ahead and subscribe. We do rank PvP. We do unranked PvP. Um, you know, while, while I'm here and if you guys are still here with me, I, I just don't see too many content creators making PvP content. Um, so I, I like to believe I'm one of the more credible sources. Not to toot my own horn, but I just... I just feel like, you know, not too many content creators even make gameplay videos in general of the game. So if you like that, if you like PvP, if you like ranked, um, go ahead and make sure you sub with notifications turned on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out. Bye, guys.